Well, that was fun. Last weekend, a local church held a memorial service for a close family relative of mine who had passed away. And as part of the memorial, I took out a huge 19th century cast iron cauldron to make jambalaya as part of the feast being served by the church after the service. My intention had been to film the making of the jambalaya on my iPod, especially as a tribute to his cooking with the uh, church parishioners and also to his being a history buff with a great interest in the American Civil War. However, immediately when I began filming the uh, setup for the uh, jambalaya, my iPod crashed and was out of commission for the entire time. And all I could do was record a few moments on my phone and take some pictures of the uh, cast iron cauldron in action. So, in order to make up for that, here's another jambalaya made in my kitchen in a Birmingham stove and range number 12 size Dutch oven. Because not only is jambalaya delicious, it's also fun to make and it's a great way to find closure and healing when someone close to you moves on. This is not meant as a funeral or anything sad, but rather something to cheer you up. It certainly made me feel better. I wanted to make jambalaya, especially because it's easy to make, it's inexpensive, and it feeds a lot of people. Preparation is easy as marinating chicken pieces for an hour or more, while we then chop up some peppers, onions, and celery, also known as the Holy Trinity. To this, we also cut up a pound of bacon and two pounds of sausages. One of those should be on Dewey if you want to be authentic for Cajun cooking, so you can really use any sausage you want. Once this is done, we heat up a big cast iron pot on the stove and begin cooking. We start out by cooking the bacon, then removing the cooked bacon and leaving a lot of grease in the pan. This will be used to brown the chicken pieces. Adding all that chicken to the pot lowers the temperature, so we cover the pot for a few minutes to bring the temperature back up. After this, we stir fry the chicken for about 20 to 30 minutes. This is the hard part, and everything after this is easy. All that stirring will break the chicken into pieces, and that's exactly what we want. When the chicken is reduced in size, it's time to add the sausage and the cooked bacon. It only takes a few minutes to heat this up, and now we get to add the trinity. We're getting close to the end already, as we just have to stir everything now until the onions are softened. From here, we add our spices and kick up the flavor. And finally, we add two and a half cups of rice, then stir in five cups of water. Then we cover the pot and let it simmer to cook the rice. After stirring once after 15 minutes, we cover it for the last time, and then we wait. And when it's done, we have some authentic Cajun jambalaya, which is certainly worthy of serving at a memorial service or any other time.
Thank you for watching, and take care of yourselves and each other.